Amy, I'm excited about learning more about Microsoft 365. Where do we start? Well, the first place we're going to start is the admin console. So it's admin.microsoft.com is where you go to log in. And this is going to be the starting place, really, for everything you do in Microsoft 365. Wanted to point out a couple things. We're going to launch that browser in private mode. And what's our purpose for private mode? Well, private mode is going to let us make sure that we don't get confused between tenants. So I have my own tenant in Microsoft 365. And so if I just opened up the browser and type in admin.microsoft.com, it automatically logs me into my own tenant. But in this case, I want to work in our classroom tenant. And so I need the in-private browser to make sure those logins don't get confused. Oh, that makes sense. So here you'll see, you can click on the account, and you'll see up in the corner that there's the mod administrator. And then actually over here to the left, you see Contoso. So I know that I'm logged in as that tenant. The other thing I wanted to point out to you about the console is when you scroll down, this first stuff at the top is the general admin console. And then down below are the specific admin consoles. So We've got Azure Active Directory, for example. If we click into that, it opens up a new tab, logs us in, and goes to an entirely different URL. So this is aad.portal.azure.com, and now we're in the Azure Active Directory module. Each of these admin modules have their own separate URL. So I like to make shortcuts for them, and you can see them here across the top of my browser. That way, when I want to jump into something, I can just go straight there without having to drill down through the admin console. It just saves me a little bit of time. So you could do a new tab, and you don't have to sign in. You can just click on those shortcuts, and it'll take you right to it without Exactly. Wanting. Awesome. Yep. Well, Amy, that was pretty straightforward. Yeah, I know it was. It's just the admin console. But in the next lesson, we're going to start to dig in on how to manage users. 